Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you my newest software that I made is the Zcash Mining GUI which is a GUI that allows you to run the NHEQ miner graphically and it lets you mine Zcash so I'm going to open it right now so you can see the software is very easy to use all you have to do is enter your Zcash address here then you, s you put here the server and port of the mining pool that you want to use you then choose if you want to use an NVIDIA card, AMD card or none of the uh, of the, the cards NVIDIA or AMD or none you then specify the number of device that you want to use the compatibility mode lets you use a compatibility mode that is built in NHEQ miner that lets you use the miner with other NVIDIA cards the tuning let you specify the number of threads and blocks for um, to use or you can let the value in zero so NHEQ miner will choose the values for you automatically so either of that you can change it manually or let NHEQ miner choose them for you you can ch uh, you can check here so NHEQ miner will use the CPU or if you want to use the the video card alone you cannot do of course this you cannot use either an nvidia card or cpu at the same time and press start because it will show you this error you can you must use either a cpu or gpu but you cannot use the two at the same time so you have that in mind so you select the use cpu option you specify the number of threads now this option is optional you can either um, mark this option so it will pop up the command prompt window with the output or if you don't show it all the output will be shown over here however this is not real time and um, but it will mind but it is not real time that's the only difference so I recommend for the meantime selecting the show CMD option so I have an NVIDIA 1060 3 gigabyte card so I'm going to use the NVIDIA card over here I have a four core intercore i7 processor 3610qm clocked at 2.30 gigahertz with turbo boost so it runs at 3.08 gigahertz um, like i said the processor is quad core it has four cores it's had it has eight threads so i will use the cpu and use the eight threads option i will specify to use the eight thread option over here and i will have this option checked so i can see the output so now all I have to do, I'll ha all I have to do, to do is press the start mining button, and you can see it is showing my mining output over here. And you will see a lot of messages saying submitting share, accepted share, and the speed. Now this system is not very powerful. The most I've reached is 40 solutions per second, so it is not powerful at all. Also consider that I'm recording this video, so it will not show the full potential of the machine right now. You can see 28 solutions, 28 solutions to that, 28 solutions. So that is one of the modes. Uh, you can see that it is running at 100%. Um, NHQ minor, you can see. But since I'm recording it, so it is not running at full potential, so yeah anyway and the gpu you can see the gpu it is running also at 99 percent so yep that's the mining running the miner running with my gui i will show you the other method of mining which is not showing the command prompt over here so i'm going to press stop mining we'll remove the option and now i'm going to press again start mining you can see that it is displaying the output over here but it is not real time however it is running you can see the cpu is running at 100 percent you can see the gpu load is also running at 99 percent but it is not real time um, i believe this is due to a bug in the nheq miner that it is not flushing the output but it works it is mining and if we let it be like that like for a minute or so you can see the output but it depends it actually depends on your hardware the more hashes it does per second the more solutions it does per second um you will see the output um more frequently 
I believe because it is because it is not flushing the output you must wait for the for the buffer to fill so it will show all of the information there so if you want to see the output real time I recommend stopping mining selecting the show CMD window and start mining this way so you can then see the progress a nice feature is that you can minimize the mining GUI you can see it is showing up over here you can minimize the GUI and it will go to the system tray it will not show in the taskbar over here it is in the system tray so you can open it later yep so that is the NHEQ miner Zcash mining GUI that I made this software is completely open source you can go to my repo over here this is my repo for the NHEQ miner I'm going to stop the mining for uh, a moment stop here we go okay this is the repo for my mining GUI for the NHEQ miner mining GUI it is open source you can check out the code for it here it is just a GUI it is it does not does nothing more it is just a GUI so to download it all you have to do is go to the releases section and download it here are here is the executable so before using the miner you must download the nice hash NHEQ miner you can go to the repo over here go to the releases download the file and you must place it inside an NHEQ miner folder here are the downloaded file the v0.4b that is the correct version you extract it inside the NHEQ miner folder that must be made in the same folder where you have the Zcash mining GUI um, downloaded because otherwise it will not load for example if I attempt to load the mining right now the mining GUI it will say that NHEQ miner was not found and it will open up the repo page for the NHEQ miner so you can download the the latest executables that's what happens when it does not find the NHEQ miner so it is very important to have the NHEQ miner folder made and inside that folder you must have the NHEQ miner executable along with all of the of their content so then when you start the tool it will load the tool will, the tool will save the Zcash address the server and port and all the options automatically so when you open it up again it will show up all the latest details that you used so the software is very aware of that it saves that inside this file under the config file let's open up so you can see the file the contents it says the address the server port the commands the compatibility mode it saves all the options over here so then when you start the mining tool the mining GUI for the mining GUI tool so it will load all of the options and all you have to do is press the start mining button and it will run it is that simple and just stop the mining here so that's all I hope you like this software you can download it again in the in the github repo you can download it you can compile it um, and that um, you have the source code available so that's basically thank you for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends and um, comment on it um, suggest me some features to add I don't know um, if you find any issue please be sure to open a ticket in the github page open, a, a, a open an issue there so I can take a look and fix it as soon as possible or if you wanna fix it and you are free to download the code and modify it any way you want it uh, but please um, point out to my report as the original source so that's all thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the software and happy mining some Zcash currency thank you for watching again